There are many different chart types out there that help us effectively compare differences from one period to another, but one chart that really stands out is the comet chart. In addition to showing change, it can also be used to show the direction of movement, and as a result, it can be used to create some really powerful visualizations. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this really cool looking chart. So here I'm using a comet chart to show debt to GDP ratio by country. So for each country, we have two different data points. So here, if we take a look at our first data point, we can see that the GDP ratio for the United States in the year 2000 was 53%, which grew to 105.2% by the year 2015. So the tail of the comet represents the previous period and the head of the comet represents the current period. And the color of the comet represents an overall increase or decrease from our previous period to our current period. So we can clearly see that most of the countries show an increase in debt to GDP ratio with the exception of Russia, Saudi Arabia, and India. All right, so let's take a look at how to create this visualization step by step. First, I'm going to navigate over to my sheet and I'll drag in my country to rows. So now we get our list of countries. Next, we will be working with measure names and measure value fields because we are looking at two different measures in our visualization. In this case, what I've done is I've extracted my debt information for the year 2000, as well as my debt information for the year 2015. So we'll drag in our measure names to filters. We're going to select debt for the year 2000 and 2015. We'll click OK. And now we'll bring in our measure values and drop it on columns. And just so you guys can see how my debt information is calculated, let me go ahead and edit one of these calculated fields. So here I'm basically extracting my debt information for the year 2000 by setting my year dimension equal to the year 2000. And I've done the same thing for my 2015 data. So next, we're going to change our mark type to a line. So I'll click on marks, change it to a line, and we should be able to see something that looks like this. Next, we'll bring in our measure names field and drop it on path. So I'm gonna grab it from my data pane. I'll drop it into path here. And what this does is that it creates a line between two different date periods for each country. Next, I'll bring in my measure names and drop it on size and we should be able to see our comet. So here we go. Next, we wanna color code our comets based on overall change in percent GDP debt for each country. So if there was an overall increase in debt, I want to make my comet red, but if there was an overall decrease in debt, then I want to make it gray. So let's create another calculate field. And we're going to call this color difference. And then we're gonna say, if our debt in 2015 is greater than debt in the year 2000, then we're simply just going to make anything that meets this statement or is classified as true, we're going to color code it in red. So we'll click OK. We're going to drag our newly created field on color. And now we can go in and assign a color to each comment. So as you can see, I have a few nulls here because I don't have the previous year comparison in order to calculate this difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these null values and now I'm going to assign a color to each comet. If our debt in the year 2015 was less than the year 2000, then we're going to color code our comet in gray. So let's just pick a different darker shade of gray and we'll click OK. So let's go ahead and apply a filter um, to only keep certain countries in our view. As you can see, we have a lot of information here and we might want to filter some of these countries out to make it easier for us to create annotations for our chart. So I'm going to drag in my country name into filters. I'm going to set it to none. 
I'm going to show my filter on the right hand side. And what I'll do is I'll just make a selection on a random countries. So the only other thing I would highly recommend you guys do when you're working with these types of charts is that you create proper annotations or labels. So your end users don't get confused on how to read these particular chart types. So the one thing that I would do is I would add an annotation to each end of my comment. So here I'm going to right click, annotate, mark, and I'm simply just going to keep my year in the view. Okay. We're going to do the same thing for our head of the comment. Now, whoever is reading this chart, they know where the starting date period is and the ending date period is based on the shape of the comment. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had fun building out this visualization and that you will be using it in some of your dashboards. Please subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks.